Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, New Jersey Nurse to Be. And if you're new to my channel, then welcome. So today we'll be talking about NCLEX and finding out how did I do on my NCLEX. So let's start by saying that, um, well let me start by saying that I took my NCLEX on June 30th. Um, I found, I got my ATT number, I'm gonna say July 24 or 26 a couple days before the 30th and so once I got my ATT number I said let me go ahead and schedule it so the, mo the most recent appointment that they had was July 30th and I said let me take it um I passed <laughs> on 205 questions yes the whole test so the LPN test is usually 85 to 205 so you can get 85 questions and the computer can shut off or you could get 205 questions which is the whole test and the computer shuts off Okay, of course it's gonna shut off because the last question and unfortunately I got the whole test but the good thing is I passed so what did I use to study so um, if you guys have been following me and watching my videos I finished my LPN program on June 25th and then a week after that I was using ATI for only a week and then I said you know what I need to have a mental pause for a second and let me just enjoy my family, myself, my husband. Let me get back to mommy duty, wife duties. Like, for real. Let me put school on pause for a second. Because I was still waiting for my school to send my paperwork and letter of completion to the board of nursing and stuff. And that was a whole other dilemma. So I was like, I don't got time for that. So then, um, like around June, t July 20-something, is when um, Pearson View sent me an email stating that um, here's my ATT number and I can schedule my NCLEX and I scheduled it right away. And so then the next day after I scheduled my NCLEX is when I was like, all right, let me go and use my Evolve, which is a subscription that you get with your Sounders PN. So I used it that day and I only did 200 questions. And then I was like, you know what? I've been in school for 12 months. Um, knowing me, you know, the, the student that I was, um, I made the dean's list all four quarters. Um, so I know some stuff. So I'm just going to risk it. I'm just going to go take this test because I've been sitting at home for over a month. And I, keep, I feel like I'm forgetting stuff. So I was like, I'm just going to risk it and take the test. And that's exactly what I did. I really didn't study. I only did those 200 questions of Saunders that I told you guys, and I went out to the test on Tuesday. And then when I got home, it took me three hours. And so when I got home, which was around 5.40, I did the Pearson View trick, and I got the good pop-up, which said, uh, can't schedule an exam because it looks in our system that you're already taking this exam, something like that. So I did that Pearson View trick for 48 hours because... Um, I couldn't get my quick results till 48 hours, which the 48 hours were the first, which was yesterday. And I got my quick results around three o'clock in the afternoon. By the way, you have to pay $7.95 through Pearson View to get your quick results. And what does that say? It just tells you if you pass or if you fail. So that's how it is out here in New Jersey. And my license number has yet to come up. But I already know that I passed. So I'm just waiting for my license number to come up on New Jersey Board of Nursing. And then that's it. So my advice to you guys, and it's the same advice that I give to my friends and stuff, is if you've been studying up to the day of taking your NCLEX, then you're good. Trust me, you're good. Okay? Now, if you were like me, who was like, you know what? I did really good the whole year. I'm just going to just take it and risk it because you haven't studied in a couple weeks then do it because the longer you wait the more you forget and I think that's what happened with me um, because I'm thinking okay I know the type of student I am my computer should shut off at 85 and when I got to question 86 it didn't shut off and I'm like what damn I, you know, I'm thinking this is good you know and I'm like I think I'm doing good and then I got to question 90 and then 100 and then in, in my mind I'm like just give me the whole test and I think that the reason why I gave me the whole test was this, was because I really didn't study. I was already forgetting things, you know? Um, but I thank God that I passed. Like, I prayed. I had my family prayed. Um, I come from a religious family. My father's a preacher. My sisters go to church all the time. So everybody prayed. And I feel like God was with me. And I, if you guys seen my video, my last video, I said, 
I'm going to leave it up to God because God didn't just bring me here to this place to the end to just let me go. He's going to, he's going to push me. He's going to be there for me, you know? And I know this is, this is my calling, you know? And I know this is what he wants and this is what I want, right? So I left it up in his hands and I, I praise him for that, for me passing and stuff. So, um, yeah, my advice to you, take it. Even if you waited weeks and you haven't studied, take it. If you were that type of student who was busting your behind and studying all the time, go for it. You'll do fine because I'm telling you, the longer you wait, the more you're going you're gonna to forget, right? And it's like not taking the NCLEX is an obstacle for you because you want to apply, right? You, you haven't been working in so long. So you just like, you know what? Let me take this NCLEX, get out the way so I can start applying to jobs because out here in New Jersey, you can't apply without not having a license, believe it or not. Because interviews that I went to, they're like, well, we can hire you as a CNA because you don't have your license yet. And I'm like, no, that's not happening. I'm a nurse. I'm a graduate nurse. Just because I haven't passed my NCLEX doesn't mean that I should be a CNA. No shade against my CNAs. But again, went to school for LPN. That's what I want to do. So I waited. Why not, right? Who wouldn't? Anyways, so what is going on with my life now? Um, yesterday was my graduation. As you guys can see, I got a new look. I got a little ombre going on, and I cut my hair. It was looking cute yesterday. Today is all a hot mess. Um, and it was. I was very happy to spend that time with my family, my husband, my kids. My father was there. My friends who I did this journey with were there. Um, it was. It was really nice. It was also nice to get a, an award. Um, for my accomplishments, um, it was beautiful. It was really, really nice. So besides that, oh, how was my NCLEX? Like, what kind of questions? I can't specifically say what I had on my NCLEX, but I can tell you that um, it was. I had a couple selectors, medications. The medications weren't outrageous. It's stuff that you've seen. Like, it's not one of those hard medications that you never heard of. It's medications trust me that you've seen in the medical world um probably your family members on this medication and stuff like that what i heard is that nclex tests you on your weakness so i think pharmacology was my weakness oh I hated pharmacology but um but yeah i had select those the select those were easy um comparing nclex to ati and saunders pn it was easier trust me i feel like for me, they were throwing me a lot of easy questions and hard questions. But when they would throw me a hard question, they, it would follow up with an easy question and stuff. So I was feeling good about myself. So that's why I wasn't so nervous when it ended at 2.05. Um, I was just like, hmm, I feel good. I'm not nervous. I'm not that nervous and stuff. So I was fine. So yeah. And now I'm just applying to jobs, trying to see if um, I get a job. And then <clears throat> see where I can go from there. Besides that, um, I want to thank you guys for, you know, watching my video. If you guys have any questions, don't forget to comment below. Like my video. Subscribe to my channel. Um, again, pretty soon I'll be updating you guys and what school I went to and stuff like that. And hopefully I can update my camera and do some editing on my videos and stuff. I've been using my MacBook Air camera and... It's not so good. It's not like everybody other video. So again, don't forget to support this New Jersey nurse. And um, good luck on your journey.